everybody, it's Kay, and I'm here today with my ice cream beauty box for March of 2023. So let's see what's in here. One of the things I do like about this box is that they do like, um, for Valentine's Day, there was a little bit of a Valentine's Day theme, and for St. Patrick's Day, there's a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day theme. So the first item in here, and I do have this on today. This is the uh, Saints Center's Ice Cream Beauty Yummy Palette. For four, it would be forty-eight dollars. It's its first ever uh, collaboration with Saints Angel Centers. It contains four multi-chrome shadows on the top row, four highly pigmented shimmer shades, and four matte shades that are buildable but are mainly designed for uh, blending. It's an ice cream beauty exclusive. It comes in this cover thing that looks the same. Now, one of the things that I've seen other people point out, and I've looked at this too, it it's, doesn't say where it was made. Um, like part, the rest of the products in here, it was probably made in, in China. But it is unusual that a product does not show where it was made or even well, I don't know, does it say, it does say Saints and Sinners on the top of it, but it doesn't say where it was made. So it probably was, was China, but a lot of the cosmetics that we see are made in China. So these are the colors, and I will tell you, they are nice. Um, they, uh, the ones I have on today is I have on this one here. I have a little bit of this one, and I think a little bit of this one here. You can't really see it on camera. This one's more of a pinky highlighter. This one's more of a yellow, uh, got a little bit of a gold tint to it. So these are, uh, like it said, these are the ones that are shimmery here. And you can do, I mean, this is mostly a, a blue palette, but a blue green palette, but you can do a lot with it. I do think this pour some sugar here is, this looks green when you see it there, but this, it, it looks green when you see it there, but it's pink. When I'm looking at it, it's pink. You can't, it, it's, I think it's one of those shape shifter ones. There it is, when you're seeing the more, the pink rose gold shade, and there you're seeing green. So that's that's really neat. I like that. Um, I didn't try that one on. I would have because again, you're you're not seeing it. You're seeing something, but you see the color shift. That's really cool. So let's see if the purple one does that either. No, we'll see. This is the purple one. Okay, it's a little bit shifting too. It looks really purple in here. Actually, look at that. It is a color shifter because there it is. It's blue, it's purple. This one's color shift too. So these two are color shifting. You know what, if that color shifts, I'm betting these, these ones that look white do too. This is Candy Girl here, let's see. Can't, right here, Candy Girl. You really can't see it, huh? But it's a pink, it's a pink color. And, and now you're not seeing it all, but it's, it's right here and it's a pink color. Okay. And then, so that's Candy Girl. Candy Girl's pink and Tutti Frutti is even more pink. You just can't see them, but I mean, that's really pink. When I'm looking at it, it's white and pink. So that top row is, that, that's a lot of activity on this top row and what it's doing. So it didn't bother my eyes, so it's worked out. Now I did use the True Plus Luscious um, eye uh, primer because I like that because if, if I have like darkness or discoloration, um, you know, in this area, it just, it, it just makes it easier uh, and it makes it look better overall and brightens my eyes. So actually, you know, I am, I am thrilled with this palette. The matte colors are really going to be more true to form. It's just this row here. And you know what, if I did it a different way, you still can't see it. You still can't see what I'm talking about, that it really looks very pink, this one right here. You see the shifting going on? That's really cool. Actually, I like that. And I didn't even realize it was doing that until I showed the, the light here. Okay, so the next item, let's see what the next item is here. Okay. Bow Down Brow Gel. Okay, well, I don't really use a lot of clear eye. This is a clear, it's by 
Green Queen, Queen Studios for $16. This is a um, full size. Helps your brows stay in place for uh, 16 plus hours, but it has a natural finish and it works with any brow color. And it has a baby spoolie um, that lets you sweep and shape your eyebrows to perfection. So I don't really have uh, that problem where my eyebrows are moving around like that. I could see where some people would have that. I don't have that. So typically I am using a, um, a either the Persona Brow Gel, the Tarte uh, Brow, uh, Busy Brow, Busy Brow, Busy Gal Brow, or this one by Anastasia, or the Marc Jacobs makes one too. So yeah here's uh persona makes one this is a really good one and so i need a little color sometimes because i get a little bit of a gray or you know whatever so i use more of the brow gel than even a pencil but if you were using a pencil this would probably be what you'd want to use okay so the next item is this brow this is by bella pierre and this is a eyeshadow primer that'll take it to the next level, get even more pigment. Um, when you use this over a base, it'll make it last even longer. Okay, well, what I'm interested in is gonna be a little bit of the color correction. So let's see if, okay, I have colors on me and I just put colors in here. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It didn't used to be blue though. Okay, this, I don't know, it, it it's very creamy. And it does appear to have a teeny bit of color, but I think I probably need to stick with something like the True Plush Luscious that has a little bit of color correcting. But hey, I'm gonna give it a try and see, because again, I do need, a, a, I think, a little bit of lightening there. But I'm gonna definitely give this a try. And this is $19 for this. So that's actually more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna have to try that out. Okay. So there's two other items in here. The Bella Pierre, this is also another item by Bella Pierre. Um, this is a liquid gold highlighter by uh, for $25. Um, it's a liquid highlighter without a dropper for easier application, and it can be applied straight on to a brush and then applied to your face for easier application despite its name. This highlighter, highlighter is not gold inside. Okay, well, it looks like it's gold. And I can see gold for St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. It's, um, I have to, I've got like this stuff on my hands. Okay. It's not, and it's just a liquid highlighter. And that's what it looks like. You know, I could even see uh, using that like right underneath the brow bone as well. Uh, okay, well, I'm interested to give this a try. I like that. I like that. Sh I don't like to be shiny, but I I think it could make it pretty shiny. So you'd have to figure out how to how to use it. So I'm not sure. Okay, well the last item in here, and I'm not quite so sure what to think about this. This is by Kevin and Coco, and I did try this yesterday. It comes with one, two, three, four, five six shades of lips, lip, liquid lip. They're watermelon scented and it's green as you can see, so it's in with a the theme. Um, we didn't include any green lipsticks, but we're giving you some fun colors to try with this lipstick set. These dry down matte and we recommend chapstick or lip balm to be applied first if you tend to have dry lips. Okay, well, there's a lot of different colors in here. It ranges from a, a you know, I think I may just go ahead and, and swatch them all so we can see what we have here. So, this is one here. Okay, that's a nice color. Looks like this. They do smell like watermelon. I, I don't know when this value would be $28. So, like 28 divided by six. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know whether these are, the, I felt like a, there, I felt a, a little petroleum or I smelled a little petroleum yesterday. Um, and I don't know, sometimes the petroleum um, gives me a headache. There are quite a number of, 
of, and it does say it dries down. I did find that it smeared a little bit. So maybe I didn't wait long enough for it to dry down. And when things like this smear, they're just an absolute mess. So, oh, wow, this is my favorite one so far. Number four, they're numbered on the bottom. That's my favorite one so far. That's this one right here. You see the colors there? I should have done that a different way. But anyway, that's that's what the colors are so far. And you see one of them is really, really dark there. But these are actually, you know, I would say these are all wearable colors. I mean, they're definitely colors that, you know, well, some of them are, two of them are pretty dark. So I'm going to take that back. There's two of them I just don't see that I would be wearing. But besides those two, okay, well, this is nice. This one is also nice. Number three is, is also very nice. So I'm gonna say three, four, and one are the ones that are, and I'm gonna put these up on the top. These are the ones that are really working out best for me. Okay, these are the, these is, this is one. Ooh, no, I don't like that one on top. Okay, well, some of these are a little bit bright. My favorite two are gonna be these two here and I think that is four and one yeah I don't see maybe I like three two one of them was really bright pink and I wasn't sure about that one okay that's not the same color so three one three and four one three and four are the ones that that I think I would probably get the most use out of these two, there's two of these are very, very similar and it's hard to tell the difference. But basically these ones, except for the one on the top, um, this is this is one, three, or four here. And these are the ones that I would be most likely to use. So none of them have dried down yet since I've started putting them on here. So they may dry down, but it's gonna, and you see how, I don't know, we have to find a way to use this highlighter. Otherwise, that looked like a, I don't know, it looked like I was a mannequin or something. I don't know. So, I think you just would really want to, you just have to sort of wait or, you know, just, just wait until it dries because it's taking a little bit longer than most of them that I've seen to dry down. So, anyway. I mean, I'm interested in, in giving it a try. I mean, it is fun and cute, and you, you get six of them. So, and I'm really, I'm, actually, I like that eyeshadow a heck of a lot more than I thought I was going to. So, this has been sort of fun, actually, <laughs> to go through this one. And, you know, the theme, this is sort of a fun box. This is never going to be, I don't think they ever put skincare in here. Um, and that's the thing, it's one of the things that they, they, they're proud of because some, some people don't like to get the combination. So I like that it seems to be fun every time. And so this is a, a nice little box and I'm glad to have it. So anyway, thank you for stopping by and have a good day.